Right now, I'm very proud of myself for sitting in front of you all, in front of great people on a great stage, and obviously in a great competition. Respectful judges, committees, and all my world audiences. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was a little kid, I used to play with the kids near my house. We played many traditional games. Some of them you might already know, Uma Soto, Anklet, and Chonka. I had lots of fun, even though I lost a lot. Until one day, I went out to the field in my house to play with my friends. But there was no one there. At first, I threw them away because they were always me. So I waited and waited, but nobody came. I was left alone. Now all of you may wonder why had made my friends suddenly disappear. Well, there was one thing that was very popular at the time, and it attracted the kids who loved playing. It was the internet, where you can have fun while sitting on a chair. The internet was brought in by the thing we call globalization, ladies and gentlemen. Far beyond that, globalization has brought many impacts, which is also the same reason for why Indonesia's culture is in the edge of extinction. People are starting to think that Indonesia's cultures are outdated. Our foods are delicious, our clothes are modest, and our games are fun. We are moving on to foreign cultures that comes along with globalization, ladies and gentlemen. But nowadays, we realize the bad impacts of what globalization has brought us. Then the people's opinions are changed, little by little. The mindset of globalization is bad for Indonesia starts to grow. Ladies and gentlemen, but what if we turn the facts around? Now what do you see? Most of us generally would have seen a black dot. But what we should see here is a black dot and a piece of white paper. It is imagined that this white paper has globalization and the black dot has a negative impact. Most people only notice the bad effects of what globalization has brought for us. They're seeing the bad space it has. They're seeing its potential. In Arab, many restaurants serving Indonesian foods are spread from Mecca, Medina, and Jeddah. In Netherlands, many universities provide Sudanese and Japanese language as a self the department. Batik are also widely produced and sold in Africa. This proof that our cultures are cooler, and we should be proud of it. Those are just some of the benefits that globalization has given towards Indonesia, and that happened without we realize it. So what if we change the mindset of globalization from a threat to a perfect chance? America, China, Japan, and many more countries use globalization not only as a chance, but also as a weapon in many sections. Ladies and gentlemen, so now it is our turn to call globalization and stop being colored by it. But it all now means just a single question. How? How do we change this threat to be a perfect chance? There are at least three steps to do it. Starting from ourselves, to the citizens of Indonesia, and then into the world. If now food, fashion, and fun from all around the world have already invaded Indonesia, and they are considered cool by many Indonesians, then we should know more. We have our own foods, our own clothes, and our own entertainments. Fried rice and linda have been nominated as the most delicious food in the world by CNN. White bullet has been great to be a masterpiece of our and intangible heritage of humanity by UNESCO. Batik also has been used by many famous people, such as Bill Clinton and Queen Elizabeth II. This proves that our cultures are cooler 
and we should be proud of it. That was the first step. Secondly, we must make other people know these facts. Remind our families and friends that our country is rich of its cultures. We have everything in Indonesia to be proud of, rather than consuming other cultures as our lifestyle. By doing this, we can relieve Indonesia's cultures from the inside of our country. After all that, we can start using the chance that globalization gave for us. Globalize our cultures so that Indonesia can be renowned around the world. Promote our cultures by itself and showing up a little story of Indonesia's cultures. Through this way, I am very sure that Indonesia will answer our accounts and we will be honored by people from all over the world. It is job. We cannot deny or stop the globalization that has been going on in this world. Is that we should survive this era and make Indonesia greater than ever before. Cheers to Indonesia and another chance for us to make this right. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.